All right guys, so I just put the kids to bed and we are gonna open up some boxes. I've already opened up some of them, some of them I haven't opened up, but I wanted to share some of the stuff that I bought at Amazon recently. I fully took advantage of Prime Day, whatever. I haven't in the past, I feel like other years I've kind of like skipped it, but this year, I don't know, I was like looking at deals all day and you guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but I mean, if you're like regulars here, you already know that I'm crazy. I bought, I bought like a bunch of toys and stuff, for the kids some of them i'm gonna have like stored as like surprise toys for the summer like if i need something different to entertain them or whatever i'll kind of save it for like a friday surprise toy or some of them honestly i got such good deals on them that i'm gonna save them even for like holiday time and their birthday time in december so i've kind of already done a little bit of christmas shopping um i'm pretty happy about that but then i have other stuff here that i got for myself i'm gonna tell you some of the stuff that joe bought i'm gonna go through like my recent order because some of the stuff I don't actually have here um, some of it is upstairs some of it is coming later this week so if you guys are into Amazon stuff then I hope you guys enjoy this video give it a big thumbs up if you do like it if you guys are new here I share a lot of like motherhood and lifestyle content so click the red subscribe button be my friend here on the internet and let's just get into it so I don't really have anything in any particular order but let's share some of the stuff that I got so first things first, got Jackson another set of pajamas. I love buying Jackson pajamas from Amazon. It's the Simple Joys by Carter's brand. They always have the best sleepers. And I got this print, um, this set that has like three different prints. What I like about these is that they're zipper, but then they also don't have the feet. So now that Jackson's walking and stuff, I totally like him just being barefoot. And these are like really lightweight. So I'm really happy that I got him these. This is a super cute print. So it's a pack of three, a great price for sleepers. I always buy the kids pajamas from Amazon. Everything by the way is gonna be linked down below in case you guys want to shop. I got him these in 24 months because the ones that he has now are 18 months and i wanted him to have like a couple to grow into so this one has like a dino and then these are fire trucks i think but there's like a million different prints that you can get so i highly recommend these jackson has like a million i'm gonna put those to wash other things like why do they put this in here i mean i guess so that you know everything's not moving around but it is the most annoying thing because then i have to like go popping them I, I hate that i did get him one other sleeper i guess i'll just pull that one out i had already shared this in one of my vlogs this was a birth bees pajama this one i do think has the feet yeah this one has the feet but i didn't really care because it's birth bees and these are like usually really expensive these are usually like i don't know 15 bucks on amazon and i got it for like seven bucks for a prime day so this is like 100 percent organic cotton this one it looks like just has like a bunch of different letters and sayings i don't know i just thought it was like a simple classic pj so now he has four new ones this is the kind of stuff that you're gonna see and this is what is gonna make you think that i'm insane because you guys know that the kids don't need any more toys but they had great deals on shopkins and riley doesn't have any shopkins right now but she has one little girlfriend that went to ballet class with her and she brought her shopkins and then she couldn't stop talking about the shopkins so i got these at a really good price so again these are the things that either i'm going to save for a rainy day or for birthday holiday season haven't decided yet um but i got those so they have a couple um that i found on amazon that were like at least i don't think i bought anything for prime day that wasn't like 40 or 50 percent off like i wanted to get like a good deal on stuff and that is what i did with this so this was like a little house of some kind and they have like the little figures i don't know at this age like they like all the teeny tiny little things like the little figurines with like the teeny tiny accessories and riley's been begging for some of this kind of stuff but um since jackson was like in that phase where he was like always putting stuff in his mouth i kind of shied away from those things but now he's much better about it so now she can finally have these things for jackson i'm very excited about this to give him this at some point this is like a kinetic sand i think it's kinetic sand or maybe regular sand i don't know what kind of sand it is but it's like a construction like sand kit and i thought that he would really like this it's got the truck it's got like three trucks it's got a road sign some castle molds sand tools a sandbox like this is what i like is that it's an actual like case for the sand oh look it's cute i'll open it and show you guys so it's got the trucks and it's got what is this i guess maybe this is something you inflate and i don't know and then you've got the sand there it kind of feels like kinetic sand so i'm sure that's what it is and then you've got the little people so this is a kind of activity that will keep him entertained for quite some time i'm really into like just 
getting the kids like sensory things you guys are gonna see i got riley a bunch of play-doh because that's the kind of stuff that she'll play with the longest and i know that some people don't like it because it's like messy and stuff but i'm all about something that's gonna give me like an hour of them being entertained so that i get like an hour of peace for myself i also wanted to film this video because these boxes have literally been sitting there for a couple days now and i want to take everything down to the basement so that's why i'm here like at night filming this for you guys um so let's see what else i got riley this book i thought she would like it was like a melissa and doug book um it's like some kind of foam book let's open it up and see what i liked is that it's got like the little figurine butterflies because you guys don't know that she's like into all the bugs and stuff but it's a book and it'll teach her all about the butterflies it's really cute actually well these are like different kinds of butterflies the monarch butterfly zebra long wing butterfly so she'll love this this is super random this is for me you guys are gonna think i'm such a nerd i got this um like neck fan okay i considered buying one of these when i went to disney like when we went to disney i considered buying one of these but i bought one for myself to have here like in the house so that when i'm playing outside with the kids I can have this and wear it around my neck because I am dying of heat over here. Like we're in Virginia, I, I guess it does get that hot, but I was not prepared for the heat over here. So when I'm outside playing with them, I'm like, you know, just sweating. So I'm sure I have to charge this, but it already came charged. So cute. It's very lightweight, comes with a USB charger. And let me see if I can demonstrate it. I'm actually really hot now. So I'm like tempted to wear this throughout the whole video, but I won't because I don't know that this is like a really good look for a video. Oh my God, this feels amazing. I'm gonna walk around my whole house wearing this. You can adjust it. So if you want it like, um, you know, closer to your face, you can. I just wanna make sure like it doesn't get entangled in my hair, but oh my God, this feels so nice. There are different settings too. I guess when you click the button again, it gets even um, faster. Now it's getting like really fast, but yes, this is, a great purchase very happy about this they had it in different colors this is life-changing honestly like i've only used it for one minute not even and i'm gonna buy like 65 more in case this one ever dies because it is great so if you see me like at the playground <laughs> watching my kids and i look like this this is why but this is a genius invention all right moving along because obviously i'm too excited about that this is something that i had seen um this uh blogger youtuber that i follow that i love her but first coffee i've collabed with her before i love her but she had shown her little boy playing with these and i had looked them up and at the time they were just like really expensive i don't know how expensive they are right now but i got a great deal on these and it was something that i thought that riley and jackson would really like it's this brand, um, Tegu or Tegu, I don't know how to say it, but they're wooden blocks that are magnetic. So this one comes with, it doesn't come with that many pieces. It comes with 14 pieces. They have other sets that are more pieces, but more expensive. So this one was like a reasonable price for me, but I thought it was such a cool concept that like, you know, the kids can like make things and they're magnetic and all of that. So this is something that we can work on. Riley's just like really into this kind of stuff. So this is the thing that like you put on your cart or you know, you put in your safe for later and the minute that it drops in price, maybe you wait until Black Friday or whatever, um, maybe they have good deals. This is something that you kind of want to wait till it's not as expensive. Then I got her this set of Play-Doh sand pack, Play-Doh sand. I've actually never um, got the Play-Doh sand. I guess it's like their version of kinetic sand, but it's got like six little tubs of their kinetic sand. I guess like all these different colors comes with like a little shovel and a pail of some kind not bad to have like for a rainy day like i said like a friday when i'm like hey let's do something different now we have some of this then i've been stocking you guys like play-doh sets riley's really into play-doh and it's the thing that'll keep her entertained the longest so i got this set that it looks like it's some kind of like a microwave or something i really thought that she would like this oh yeah the kids are back here playing with it these can sometimes be pricey like play-doh sets i don't really like to spend more than like 13 bucks on a play-doh set i know that's like a random number but a play-doh set that's like 25 bucks like i don't really want to spend that 
Um, so I got a good deal on this one. She can bake with it and I don't know We could just like have some nice like mommy and me time Maybe I can wait till Jackson's taking his nap and we can do this together and it's something that she'll be really excited about So this is something for me and I actually didn't get this for, um, during prime day But I haven't tried it yet, but I was very excited that I found it I've been making myself a lot of smoothies lately and my least favorite thing is like to put the peanut butter in there Because it's like all sticky it gets on the knife and then you're like great now I have one more thing to clean so I got the like powder peanut butter and you literally just pour like a scoop of it I think yeah, it says toss a few spoonfuls into smoothies or you can uh, it says for delicious low-fat peanut butter um, combine with some water so maybe you can just Make it like regular peanut butter, but point is I wanted this from my smoothies So now I have that something else that I'm gonna mention to you that I got recently that I love is that little lounge set that I've shared in a vlog before. Um, I'll insert a picture of it here. I love that lounge set. I feel like it's such a good purchase. It's very good quality. Cause like sometimes on Amazon you buy these like little sets and they're like kind of flimsy and not really worth the price. That one was really worth it. That one I have in long sleeves, but I'm looking at getting one that's short sleeves cause I live in a good matching set moment. The other thing that I've been getting a bunch of questions about are my earrings and I love these. They are just like the daintiest little hoops. I think they were like 13 bucks. And I got them off of Amazon. Very good. I never take them off like to um, like bathe, like when I shower and stuff. I don't take off my jewelry usually. So these I like take a shower with and I've loved them. I feel like they're the perfect size. So I figured I'd throw that out there. I'll include that in the links too. I'm kind of going back and forth. Some of this stuff is, you know, for the kids. Some of it is for me. This is the most random thing that I ordered. Just stevia for my coffee. This too is very random. I just ordered this balsamic glaze. I love to have like tomato, mozzarella, caprice salads and stuff. And I was running out of balsamic vinegar. So I'm gonna try this one out, but it's one of my favorite things of all time. This, I did not know it was gonna be so large. You guys, I had seen a million people. Wow, it's actually very large, but I'd seen a bunch of people share how like when they make pancakes, they make like the pancake batter and then they use like a little bottle like this to squirt out the pancake batter and then make perfect circles. Um, I thought it would be a little bit smaller, but I will keep it. Maybe we'll make just a crap ton of pancakes and freeze them all. But this is something that you can get on Amazon. Maybe you can look for one that's a little bit smaller, but hey, you know, if you're feeding a very large family, and you need a lot of pancake batter, then I suppose that this is a good purchase. So it looks like you would just, what is this for? I guess so you can clean it better, that's good. And then the little ball so that all the batter doesn't get like all lumpy. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I'm reading the instructions and it says to unscrew the base so that it acts like a stand. So when you make your pancake batter, that's smart. You see, I would have never ever thought of that. Now when you're putting your batter in, like it doesn't spill, you don't have to worry about holding it. You just place it there on the counter, you put your batter and then, see, this is how it goes. And then you close it up and then you can squirt the pancake batter onto your skillet, whatever it is you're cooking on. So that is awesome. Sorry, my battery died, but yes, very happy I have one of these now and I will be using it very much for breakfast. Other thing that I got for myself, which um, I didn't get it on Prime Day, I got it like, uh, I ordered it a couple days ago. Um, I had seen everybody using one of these and for my smoothies, I wanted to have something like this. It's one of those like ceramic like smoothie cups. You know, I'm sure you guys have seen these. This tag needs to go, but it's very aesthetically pleasing. Oh, it's very comfortable too. This is like a silicone like grip for it. Comes with two different straws. Just They're like plastic straws, they're not glass straws. So if you're looking for a glass straw, this is not it. I'm sure you could use a glass straw if you had one. Um, but these are really pretty and I feel like it'll be nice to like have my smoothies out of here. This is what the lid looks like. It's not like a twist or anything. It's just one of these like suctiony kind of uh, silicone material, I don't know. I don't know how to explain this. It's a freaking cup and I'm gonna drink my smoothies out of it. So then going back to stuff I got for the kids. <laughs> this I've been wanting to get for the kids for ages. Did you guys ever have these, the Lincoln Logs? These can also be kind of pricey, but I got a great deal on them. And the kids can have a blasty blast, just making houses and little log tower things. This comes with a lot, it seems like. It's 111 pieces and it's the 100th anniversary tin, okay? 100th anniversary tin. Joe says that he used to play with these a bunch, so now the kids will have some Lincoln Logs. This is the kind of thing I 
probably will wait till Christmas for just because it gives me six more months of not having 111 pieces all over my floor, but they'll love it. The next thing is also a Play-Doh set. So I got this one. This one I thought is something that Riley would really like and Jackson will also like this. It's like a little cooktop. So it comes with like the little cook thing, the little, come on, come on, the little skillet. Um, and you see the kids are having a great time being little chefs here and making spaghetti and noodles and all the things. It comes with a little toaster. So I'm sure that they will enjoy this. This right here, I'm gonna try to open so you guys can see what it looks like, but it's a very educational toy, something that I thought Riley would get a lot of use out of and just help her with like, just her, I don't know, her shapes and things like that. Why are there two little cases? So the packaging is nice. It's the kind of thing that should keep for a while and not get destroyed. Cause you know, like when you're trying to store the kids toys, sometimes it gets all messed up. This is really cute. So in this tin, you get a bunch of cards. You see like little cards and it tells you what it is. What the heck is a Polt? I don't know what a Polt is, but I know what a dog is. So let's just look, <laughs> let's just look at dog. Do you, do you know what a Polt is? Cause I've never heard of that word before in my life. Maybe this is from like another country, I don't know. So here you can see like there's a little picture of a dog and I really like this, that the cards can be stored in this tin. But anyway, then you have this tin that has the puzzle pieces and then she can, okay, this is not gonna be a good way to show you. There's the puzzle pieces and like little shapes and then she uses the shapes to construct the dog and she kind of has to go moving them around. So this will be a good project for her and I to work on. It's not really a puzzle because it's not like it's telling you where to put stuff. She really just has to look at the card and then, um, you know, put them in the shape of whatever it is that she's trying to make. This is kind of cool here. It'll show you, I guess, like for the parent, like, hey, pull out all of these cards or, you know, for them to, it tells you kind of like on the back, like what pieces you would need for this animal, I think. I mean, you know, I'm not a teacher, but I think that's how I will use it with right. So then this thing over here, I am very happy that I got. The thing that it comes with is not here yet, but I did finally get a spin bike. So I told you guys that I had been wanting to get a spin bike. Um, I was not about to drop the thousand something dollars for the Peloton because I literally don't know if my butt's even gonna wanna sit in a spin bike. I've never gone spinning before, so I don't even know if I'm gonna really enjoy it or like it. So before committing to a giant piece of equipment that is a fortune, I wanted to try out a spin bike. So I got one on Amazon for like 200 bucks. I think normally it's a little bit more expensive, but I got it on Prime Day. Didn't spend much more than that. It has a tablet holder. I'll show you which one I got. Again, I can't vouch for it because I haven't used it yet. I will keep you guys updated on how I like it. But I think it gets here on Thursday in a couple days and we're gonna put it down in the basement. So to put it on, I wanted a mat. So I ordered this like gym mat that's like this material i'm sure you guys know what i'm talking about this material and then that way it just like protects the equipment a little bit more and then maybe it's like not moving around all over the place so i'm gonna put this down in the basement and i can't wait for joe to set up that um bike for me so that's everything that's like here um i'm gonna go through my order list just in case you guys are curious as to what else we have bought that's not here I will tell you right away something that I can think of that's upstairs and I'll just insert some footage of it for you guys. I ordered that um, jewelry box uh, recently. I shared it in one of my vlogs too. I have loved it. It is so beautiful and I love just storing like my rings and my earrings and stuff in it. So if you're on the market for a jewelry box, that one's really pretty. I guess we'll start with the stuff that I ordered literally today. Just random things, you guys. I ordered these mosquito bites like venom remover things. Again, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Apparently it's like if you get bit by a mosquito, you use that device and then it sucks out whatever is irritating um, from the, okay, let's start over. Apparently you can use it like if you get bit by a mosquito, which is my biggest like annoyance of the summer. I hate mosquitoes, but they love me. So if they bite you, um, you like suck out the stuff and then it shouldn't make it so itchy. So I got that, I got a two pack, we'll try it out. It wasn't super expensive. The other thing that I'm gonna try out are these like fly traps. I know that this is so random, but 
in my house we get a bunch of flies and we have like the deck and sometimes I leave the door open because the sliding glass door it's a long story but the sliding glass door is like almost broken so it's like a pain to um, close it all the time so we always have flies in and out of the house and not like we're living with flies but you know every once in a while one or two will get in and it's super annoying so I ordered these fly catchers that someone had recommended we'll give them a shot I also ordered citronella candles okay just to set up the backyard like the little deck area with citronella candles if you want to like sit outside and enjoy just being out there like two nights ago joe and i ate dinner outside but we came inside having gotten bit by mosquitoes so i'm going to set those up and i'm also going to set up this thing here it's called the thermocell patio shield mosquito repeller it has like a lot of good reviews which is why i ordered it but somehow i guess it attracts the mosquitoes we'll see again i can't vouch for any of these things because i haven't tried them yet but um, we are gonna give them a try because uh, I need desperate help with mosquitoes. The other thing, super random, I got Riley another wet brush because the wet brush that I had been using for her hair, like Joe threw it away, there was a bunch of my hair in it. So I ordered two of them, one for me and one for her. A wet brush is just always a good thing to detangle hair. It's so much easier to detangle your hair with a wet brush when your hair is actually wet. Um, I feel like it's just not as painful, so that's what we use. I'm going down my list of things and some of this stuff you guys are gonna think that we are just absolutely insane, more insane than you thought we would, but we ordered a road atlas, okay? That's part of our prepper stuff. Don't ask, okay? But we ordered a road atlas. I feel like it's good in case, God forbid, GPS and stuff like stop working, you would know where the roads are and how to get to different places. So we got one of those. Um, I also ordered Jackson a super cute three pack of like these little rompers. The only thing I don't like is that they're button, but they were cute enough and on sale with, with the Prime Day that I just ordered them. They had like really cute prints, so he'll have those for just the hot summer days here hanging out at home. The thing that Joe bought for Prime Day, like I, we like argued about this over date night, okay? <laughs> about him wanting to get this, but it is now currently down in our basement. So he obviously won that battle. He got a table saw. Again, why? I don't know. I'm sure he could come up with a bunch of reasons as to why he wanted a table saw. It ended up being one of those things that I was like, look, I'm not gonna fight you on it. Um, it was on sale, but did we need to spend money on that? Probably not, but he's happy and I figured look like I bought all these other things so he could have his table saw. So hopefully, I don't know, maybe there'll be some projects where he can use that. For the kids also, I ordered the Melissa and Doug reusable sticker pads. I already took them out because we use them like at my mom's house when we were in Miami and like on their way back home, like in the car. Those reusable sticker pads, you guys, are so good because the stickers aren't like normal stickers that like you know have the adhesive on the back then get stuck to everything they're kind of like i don't know what the material is but they're like almost like you know like klingons kind of i don't know how to explain that but they stick onto the like scenes that the little pads have and then you can reuse them all all the time so it's one of those things that they can use for a while and the kids really like them even jackson was playing with them something else that i bought that i'm actually very mad i didn't buy it for myself i bought it for my dad for father's day i got him one of those non-stick griddles for making pancakes and stuff i thought about ordering myself one because it's great because you can make like seven pancakes at a time like you can make a lot of pancakes versus one like on a little skillet um i feel like that's a good contraption to have like i'm not big on having a lot of contraptions because i don't have a lot of space in my kitchen but that's one that i would have made space for somewhere and it was on so i think normally like right now i think it's like 59.99 they had it on sale for prime day like 39.99 um, but I didn't get it. So one of the things that I wish I had gotten, maybe I'll get it at some point, but yeah, that was a good deal for Prime Day. We did recently get a new pack of meal prep containers. I've been really liking them. They're like glass containers and I've been trying to meal prep a little bit more throughout the week. Like I've been cooking extra food for dinner so that Joe and I have lunches to just reheat like the next day. That's been working out really well. We're trying to get into just getting a better routine with food because there's been some days there where like we just order out over and over again and it's getting a little expensive. So um, we have those containers. I also wanted to tell you about, um, so all this stuff I got in June at some point. So I got Riley some new hair bows. Those have been working out so well. There are 32 pieces. So a crap ton of bows and they're like the clip bows that are really easy just to like 
pull back her bangs or I put them like in her little bun. They're really soft, really cute, the perfect size and you get a bunch of them for I think less than 15 bucks. So really like those. My sunglasses too, you guys, um, those have been a hit. I've been wearing them all of June. The black Sojo glasses, I have them in brown but I also have them in black. They look so high quality, like good quality. They don't look super cheapo, kind of like $5 glasses. I think they're like $15 too but I will keep buying them if I somehow break mine because I really, really like them. And then the final thing that I will share with you guys is the bathing suit that I wore in Miami. Like I have it in two colors. I have it in a hot pink that I wore to the beach. If you guys watched that vlog, I think I posted it. I think it's like the most recent vlog. I love that bathing suit. I have it in that color and I have it like in a lavender. Very comfortable, it's very much like a nice comfy mom bathing suit. It's very high-waisted, sucks everything in, um, and I found it to be just very flattering, so I have loved that one. And now that I'm looking through here, you guys, I feel like Joe has bought things, but it's not on my account. I'm pretty sure that he has bought things on his account. Is there any way for me to go into his account? Let me see if I can get him over here to so i can like see what he's been buying because i know he's bought stuff but uh, i couldn't tell you from looking at my orders all right so he's upstairs so i don't want to bother him but i stole his ipad it was on the counter and i'm gonna go and see what he's gotten recently so what if this package was left near the front door what is this a push block for the table saw did not know that he bought that so an extra contraption for the table saw he got laywright original pomade Okay, that's like what he uses for his hair. He has ordered that a million times over. New original Dell adapter charge power supply. My husband, you guys, like going through his order stuff is very not interesting because all he does is buy like cords and electronics and stuff that I know nothing about. But he bought a power supply cord of some kind. He also bought a compass for, again, prepper things. I'm sure, I'm not even gonna look into the details because I'm sure it was a crap ton expensive compass, but uh, whatever, I'll keep going. We have Black Forest gummy bears, ladies and gentlemen. Those he takes to the office for work. He gets that and Skittles, 50 ounce party size bags. So he buys that. I told him if he's gonna keep repurchasing those that he has to tell me so that we can add it to his like monthly, uh, like our monthly budgets or monthly expenses because he keeps buying those like multiple times a month to fill in like the little jars that he has at work. So yeah, there's that. And actually he hasn't been that bad in June. He also bought just some kind of um, universal magnetic phone holder for the dash, which I did use in his car and it was pretty handy. Um, so that I guess he bought. It's nice that like when you've got the map open, you know, it's like right there by the dash um, and it's just, easier to look at it that way and then the other thing that he has here are those um silica gel desiccant packets that he mentioned in one of the vlogs that he had bought um that's what he bought so his order history is actually not all that interesting this month he did pretty decent so i'm actually very proud of him maybe it's that he bought a bunch of stuff that wasn't from amazon because i feel like he's gotten quite a few packages lately and i'm like what did you order like when i go lately to like get my packages from the front door a lot of times it's stuff for me and then recently i see a lot of stuff that says joseph buell on it so i'll have to investigate further and figure out what he bought but anyway i think this is like the longest amazon haul that i have ever filmed for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed just hanging out chit chatting seeing what we got this month seeing what we took advantage of for amazon prime deal what did you guys get if you shopped the sale or just what are some of your favorite Amazon finds lately. Let me know down below in the comments. I'm always looking to save stuff too. My cart, you guys actually want to see how much stuff I have for save later because that's what I do. I'll look at stuff and then I'll just put save for later and then like come Christmas time or come whenever else like people give like need ideas of what to get us. I'll just go in there. I have 600 items right now saved for later. I kid you not. Do you see that? Save to later, 600 items. I have some yoga pants on here. I've got a medical handbook for prepper stuff. I have another pajama. I've got flip flops. I mean, I've got all the things. Like, I do not need any of these things. We don't need any of this stuff, but this is just stuff that, you know, is nice to have that we wanted to have. I saved a bunch of like calico critter stuff for Riley because I think that she would really like the calico critters, but maybe we'll wait until Christmas for that. It's a bunch of ideas. Like, made good granola bars. 
that are bomb by the way but they have a 28 bag um variety pack on amazon so i'm thinking of ordering those at some point point is lots of stuff but yeah amazon has taken my money continues to take my money will continue to take my money because it's so freaking convenient and just shows up here so quickly and i don't have to do much more than just press a button so amazon i love you don't know what we'd do without you but that is it so i love you guys i love your freaking faces thanks for hanging out with me make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys